I'm starting the timer. Okay. And here is the question. If you have read and understood, kindly begin your history taking. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Uh, hello, my name is Dr. Yes, Ishfaq. Yes, hello, good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Ishfaq. I'm one of the exam candidates. May I confirm your name and age, please? I'm Sam. I'm 54 years old. Okay, nice to meet you, Sam. Uh, today I have been asked to ask you a few questions regarding your condition. Will that be okay for you? Yes, sure. Okay. So, can, so can you please tell me, so what can I do for you today? Okay, so doctor, I've been having some problem with my swallowing. So okay. I feel, uh, I feel pain. And mm -hmm. I feel very, it is very difficult for me to swallow. Mm -hmm. uh, before I, I used to, it would be difficult for me to swallow any uh, chicken or any hard foods, but uh, solid foods. But as, I, uh, as the days went by, I feel that it is more difficult to even, I even feel difficult in swallowing drinks like uh, any juice, any water, even when I'm swallowing water, I feel pain. And okay. I've also lost quite a uh, quite remarkable uh, amount of weight so and i'm i'm not even dieting you see so yeah okay uh, firstly i'm very <coughs> very sorry to hear that okay so do you mind if you ask some more questions about it yes hello. go ahead hello yes so can you please tell me uh, when did it uh, actually started? It started a couple of months back, around ten months. Okay, and so now it's it, becoming more severe. Okay, so do you think it started all of a sudden, or did it started gradually? Uh, it actually started uh, not all of a sudden. It's been going on for quite some time, and now it's becoming more difficult with women water. Okay, okay. So, uh, do you think it is getting worse day by day? Yes. Okay. So, do, yes, do you think it is getting worse day by day? Okay, so it's more difficult to swallow the liquids or to the or the solids. It is more difficult for solids or liquids. Or there isn't any difference. Is there any difference? I think there is a delay with her. Yes, there is a delay. Yeah, otherwise she. Yeah. Hello. Yes. yes. Actually, yes, ma'am. We are, we are experiencing some delay from your side, actually. From my side? Yes, I'm actually... Yes. Okay, fine. Can you hear me now properly? I changed... Yes. I switched yes. to my... All right. Yes. Okay, extremely sorry. Uh, yeah, so I've been actually experiencing this problem for quite some time, and it's becoming worse day by day, doctor. Oh, okay, so I was like, I was saying, like, did you uh, experiencing more difficulty with solids or with liquids? Actually, now both. Previously, it was only solid, but now uh, even li even to liquids. Okay. So, do you think uh, it's associated with any pain or not? Yes, I sometimes or... okay. sometimes I pain. 
Okay. So, have you experienced any uh, unintentional weight loss uh, recently? Yes, I have. I, I, like I told you, I have uh, noticed a remarkable uh, change mm -hmm. in my weight for the last uh, few months. And I'm, I told you, I'm not even dieting or something. And I don't even have any appetite. And this okay. isn't very useful. Yes, I can understand. So can you please tell me, uh, have you experienced any um, like uh, acid at the back of your mouth or any pain in your food pipe, any like heartburn type, something like that? Yes, I do feel that sometimes. Yes, I do that. Okay, you feel that. Okay, have you experienced or have you noted any swelling in the neck area, like in front of neck or something like that? Mm, no, not really, doctor. Okay. Do you think the uh, Do you think during swelling the food is getting stuck in your throat? Yes. Yes, I do feel that. Okay. So, uh, do you think uh, do you have been experiencing any sort of bad smelling coming from your mouth, something like that recently? Yes. Sometimes I do feel that, but but just occasionally. Okay. Just occasionally. Do you think uh, while swelling the food or drinking, uh, it's making abnormal sounds like gurgling sound or something like that? No, I don't feel yeah. like that. Okay. Have you been to recent abroad, uh, like uh, any other country recently? No. Uh, any issues with your bowels or waters? Sometimes it, uh, it uh, sometimes very, it gets constipated, but other than that, it's fine, I guess. And yeah, nothing, no problem with my uh, urinary habits. Yes, okay. no problem. Have been, okay, so have you been feeling like you are feeling more tired than usual, more exhausted than usual? Yes, I have really noticed that I feel quite less uh, tired very soon. And I like I told you, it's maybe because I don't have appetite and I don't get to eat, you see. Okay, so do you see uh, your GP for anything else other than this problem? Any other condition? Any other conditions like doctor? Like uh, seeing for high, high blood pressure or oh, chest no. anything like really. diabetes or anything like nothing like that. No. Okay. no. Okay, perfect. So have you had any surgeries in the past? Uh, no, not really. No. Okay, do you take any medications currently? No, if not, sometimes the uh, uh, some medicines to just relieve my heartburn. Otherwise, no. Good. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No, not that I know of. Okay, okay. So, is there anyone else in your family who has experienced the same problem as you are complaining? I'm not sure. I I don't know. Not to my knowledge. You are not sure, but then okay, that's okay. So, do you mind if I ask some for a few personal questions? Of course, no problem, doctor. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm actually a teacher. Okay, that's great. So, who is at home with you? My wife. Okay, perfect. So, do you smoke cigarettes? Oh uh, no, I've I I've stopped uh, around twenty years back. Okay, that's great. Do you drink alcohol? Occasionally, just when friends get together. Okay, do you use some other recreational drugs? No, doctor. Nothing like that, okay. So, no. uh, are you experiencing any pain uh, in your joints, in your muscles? Uh, no. Any, any chest pain? Any shortness of breath? No. Any issues with your vision or something like that? No. Okay, perfect. So, uh, do you have any idea what, what might be causing your problem? Do you have any idea about that? Uh, I don't know, doctor, but I'm quite worried. Mm -hmm. And especially because you see, I cannot have anything now. It's always very difficult for me to have anything. I'm always fearing that, again, the pain and the discomfort will begin. So, yeah. Okay. So, right. have you any other concerns other than this? What if it could be cancer? I'm like really scared because I've yeah. heard from some friends that something like that happens. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I appreciate your concern that you are very right. So when you come to us today, what, what are you hoping us to do for you? Uh, just give me a solution as to what I can do and what exactly has happened to me. I really want to know and get to the bottom of this, inshallah. Okay, that's right. You're right. So is there anything else like you want to tell me that I haven't asked you so far? No, doctor. Okay, thank you very much for your time. So I'll be Can you present your history now? Okay, so I, today, I have, <clears throat> today I have seen a patient, 54-year-old male, Sam, who has came to me with the complaints of difficulty swelling the uh, foods. Initially, it was only, it was only for this solid food. Now it's come back to, it's aggravating and now it's totally to this also. Patient has experienced <clears throat> the weight loss of some pounds from last four weeks. And if he has difficulty in swelling as well, he has he's also experienced some bad breath sound from from the mouth. Patient has also complaining of feeling tired uh, and more uh, like pain pain in joints and the muscles as well. Patient uh, is a, has no medical histories. Patient has no surgical histories. And patient has no family histories uh, of uh, conditions like this. And uh, so, what so, is your differential diagnosis? My top differential diagnosis will be as will be the carcinoma of the esophagus, but at the same time, I would like to rule out other conditions like uh, like uh, ecclesia, like uh, Zenker's diverticulum, uh, like uh, esophageal web, and any swelling is, that might be causing the compression on the esophagus. How do you think this patient should be managed? Okay, this is, so in this patient, I would like to, after thorough uh, history and clinical examination, I would like to uh, do some. Uh, blood investigations like uh, full blood count, urea electrolytes, LFP population profile, uh, uh, albumin levels. After that, I would like to arrange an endoscope, uh, this endoscopy for this patient so that we can take a biopsy at the same time. Uh, and then I would like to arrange an endo ultrasound in this patient to look for staging and depth of depth of belief. There is any, and at the same time, after uh, I would like to do, I would like to arrange a CCT abdomen chest and pelvis to stage the stage. And what should be the treatment? For okay, I would like to manage. I would like to manage this. I would like to discuss this patient in an MDT involving this uh, surgeon, involving the radiation oncologist, gastro, uh, medical oncologist, radiologist, pathologist, and nurse and the nursing staff as well. So depending upon the lesion, we can go for either surgery or uh, peri to procedures in surgery we can go for minimal invasive surgery like endoscopic endoscopy resection of the tumor or we can go for the uh, two field dissection three field dissection like esophagectomy other levis macrimonious esophagectomy other levis esophagectomy trans hiatal esophagectomy or if the tumor is advanced we can go for the stunting of the growth uh, like palliative procedures like uh, uh, pain medications uh, relieved obstruction radiotherapy and at the same time build the patient as as we can. Good. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just in time. I mean, actually, right. this took this took more than usual. More than exactly. I think there was some so delay. I, yes, I gave you one minute I'm extra sorry. for that. That's okay. No, no, no. That's all right. It's something yeah, you know is, technical. It's uh, not you. Yes. It's not technical you. issue. You have to. <laughs> so, but then I gave you two and two, like two minutes extra you took for history. So yes, all together, history taking should have been in six minutes. You took in eight minutes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. Actually. But we'll practice. Don't, don't lose yes, hope. It was good. Mm -hmm. Like you were, I, I could see you're trying to aim and you trying to cover everything. Yes, ma'am. But then once we'll practice, uh, we'll manage to cover it. Just like I yes. became happy the way you took uh, communication skills, how you managed that. And even with yes. this, I'm, I'm sure two, three days in, oh. in a row you'll do, hopefully you'll become expert. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hopefully. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Anyone else want to say anything? They are writing. Okay. Yes. Good. Thank you, Dr.